What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and I find these reports of the melted power connectors on RTX 4090s somewhat concerning as I have one hooked up in my house right now, so I wanted to give you my thoughts on the matter, as well as show you how I have my power supply and cable hooked up, and then just for fun, we'll measure the temperature of the power connector with a laser thermometer. Now I'm no electrical engineer, I'm a graphic designer, but I'm a logical person and there are a few scenarios that I think may play out and I'll run through them real quick in order from what I think is the least likely to what I think is the most likely. First of all, the one that I think is the least likely to play out is that they totally have to rewrite the spec and the whole 12 volt high power connector ATX 3.0 is just fundamentally flawed and they have to go back to the drawing board, do some kind of recalls, or everybody who bought one of these gets boned and has to, you know, get it nerfed through a BIOS update where they lower the wattage or something like that. And I think that's really the least likely to happen, if for no other reason than because these companies have a lot of money dumped into these cards and cables and everything with this spec and they're gonna find some way to make it work. The second scenario, which I think is the medium likeliest, is that it has some issue to do with the adapter itself. All of the reports I've seen of the melted connectors have been people using adapters and not power supplies with a native 12 volt high power cable. So there could be some kind of an issue with you know merging that much power into the connector via sending it natively. I don't know if that's the case and I would be surprised if it was because you know, they must have tested these things before they sent them out, you would think, but that's a possibility and I think it's the medium likeliest one. And then the third scenario, which I think is maybe the most likely, is that it could be some kind of a manufacturing error with the adapters. Maybe they skimped on something in the production process or cut a corner to save a few bucks in the factory where they were making them. Maybe someone that was packaging them dropped a few and accidentally stepped on them and just went ahead and put them back in the box. But my money is on manufacturing defects because I think that because it's early, you know, some of these adapters just have some physical defects and that's why we're seeing the meltdowns. Now I'm running this card on an ATX3 power supply. It's the MSI MPG A1000G PCIe5. That's a mouthful of a name for a power supply. <laughs> but it has a native 12 volt high power connector on the power supply itself and then you just run a single cable from it to the graphics card. When I unpackaged it I was somewhat worried because they've bent the cable over itself several times inside the package to fit it in the box you know and it's a very rigid cable so it's not as floppy or malleable as most power cables I would say. It's very stiff. When I put it in the case, I tried not to further bend it very far and just kind of work with the bends it had in it for routing. But when I hooked it up to the graphics card, I did do a little bit of a bend just so I could attach it. I didn't push very hard on it though, and it didn't feel like I was doing anything wrong when I pushed it in there. I didn't have any problems with it clicking into place or anything like that. And there still is some room between it and the glass in this Corsair 4000D airflow. I've not had any problems with it so far, and I've had it running, you know, up over 400 watts in plenty of games. I've had it running this Final Fantasy benchmark at 8K for about an hour or two now, and it's running up over 400 watts because running at 8K really stresses it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it with the thermometer, and we'll see what it says. So you can see here the connector itself is about 43, 45 Celsius. And then if you look down on the wires, they're considerably cooler. So it's not like the wires are heating up. It's mostly up at the connector. It's about 43 to 45 for me. And then if I put the temperature up on the PCB, it's a few degrees warmer. It comes out about 48 degrees. And yeah, it's sitting right about 45 on the connector. The GPU backplate itself measures about 50C, so I think it seems pretty safe to me having the connector cooler than just the backplate. But that's how I have mine set up, and that's what I think about the connector situation. What do you think? Am I dead wrong? Do you think one of those scenarios might play out? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.